June 5th of that season. Remarkably, though, the Pelicans back, bounced back after that, and they won 13 of 15 games, including an eight-gamer. Here's a chopper to short. The throw comes home, and it's kicked at the plate, and Young scores. They're going to call him out. I do not know how, can, how Young is out. I think this is another botched play. The play came home from the shortstop, Dubon, and Mark Johnson is hot. He is pointing to the plate saying there is no way that that run doesn't score. Well, let's take it back a second. Dubon fired to Procession, who picked up the ball, and then it immediately got away from him. Young didn't even make contact. Procession just did not hold on to the baseball. So Young dove back into the plate, and I have not seen Mark Johnson this hot all season. He is pointing into Bacchus's face, and he's gone. There goes the helmet, and goodness gracious, he is pointing in his face. And Johnson will not let this go, and he shouldn't. That was a terrible call. He kicks the helmet, Lou Pinella style, and he is going to hit the showers. Well, he made his voice known, and now Chris Gutierrez, the first base coach, will come and try to talk reasonably with Eric Backus. And he's looking to chase Ede, wondering if maybe he can get some help. That is just a blown call. The Pelicans still have the lead, but as the scoreboard says, that'll be out number two. Replay just a little bit behind what actually happened. If you're watching online, the chopper up the middle. Dubon fields it and immediately comes home with it. Young barreling into the plate. And it was never caught. It simply was never caught. And with Bacchus behind the play, he's maybe his argument is that Young kicked it out of the glove. But it doesn't matter. You've still got to give the runner a chance in a lane to the plate. And now Gutierrez has been tossed. He had his back to Bacchus and didn't even know it. So now he is hot, and you do not want to make him angry. There goes his helmet, kicking up the third baseline. And now that brings all the coaching staff out here. Yeah, I think Mariano Duncan's just trying to get Gutierrez out of there. This is only Goody's second year as a coach, and uh, you don't want to have a guy like that still starting his coaching career get himself in too much trouble get suspended something like that Duncan quickly brings him back but boy you're right that ball was never caught and not only that that's a situation where I think they could have called it the other way potentially that possession was blocking the plate without the ball if anything had Chesney Young been out he should have been safe and I have no idea what that call possibly could have been unless he just didn't see it and uh well, I have no idea who's going to coach the bases now. Pinalver's coming out to coach first, it looks like. And I really have no idea who's going to go coach third. Well, the Pelicans still have David Rosario. No one's out there yet. <laughs> but nobody's out there. That's right. Mariano Duncan back in the dugout. And uh, Gutierrez gave him his lineup card. So it, it seems as though Mariano Duncan will be the... Uh, acting manager for the rest of the ball game. Goodness, and David Rosario is in the dugout. He's talking to Carlos Pinalva right now. And here comes uh, Duncan. He's got the helmet on. That's what he needed to find, and now he'll take over at third base. But you try to have sympathy for the umpires because it's the only job in the world where you're expected to be perfect from day one and improve from there. But that simply was just a missed call.